Ralph is sort of the king of creating a world and this year, you know, he took us to Spain in a both respectful and very much through a Ralph eye. It was an American homage to Spain and I think it was great. And of course, once the clothes are out of a styled runway thing, when they become separates and individual pieces, the reference probably will become broader. And that's what's so good about Ralph's shows. He always gives you the original and initial framework. Not just the detailing in terms of being amazing, but the actual quality, like you really felt you were looking at something People always talk about the fact that a jacket they bought at Ralph or a sweater 20 years ago is still in fantastic shape. And that counts for a lot today. Well, hola. <laughs> Buenos dias. <laughs> Ralph show, this inspiration from New Mexico, Mexican Zapatas, it was so romantic. From beginning to end, from the opening colorful color block looks to the end where he had incredible red carpet worthy evening wear, he really took that theme and ran with it. It really reminded you, George O'Keefe's New Mexico, Mexican Zapata's Frida Kahlo, it was all there, yet it was imminently wearable. I particularly liked his leathers, his shoes, the handbags. There were some exquisite handbags, which I believe women will just salivate over. And Ralph, for the luxury customer, I hope he makes them widely available. And for all the rest of us, I hope he knocks himself off. <laughs> I really love the color. We haven't seen a lot of strong color this week at New York Fashion Week, and Ralph really delivered very vivid reds and purples, which I thought were stunning. And then the black and white, which has been everywhere, both in the front row as well as on the runway. And I think that will be a hit for him come spring. I love the tailored suits that he showed. I thought it was a really strong collection.
spectacular, sexy, optimistic, glamorous, adorned. I think we're seeing a lot of embellishment, which is really fun to see. There's so many things to buy, whether it's fantastic jewelry or little embellished shrugs or fun hats. I feel like clothes and accessories are sexier and more fun than ever before, and that's going to want to make a shop. A lot of tuxedo dressing, but tuxedo dressing in a way that every woman wants to look. Black and white, pieces of the tuxedo, cropped pants, fitted jackets, amazing little hats and ties. Sexy, glamorous gowns as only Ralph Lauren can do. The color red splashed throughout the collection, bright, vibrant, strapless dresses that were magnificent, a lot of ruffles, and everything was topped off with a little bowler hat. You know what I love about Ralph Lauren is that he sticks to his thing, he sticks to his guns, and there's an entire mood. And Ralph really understands his brand. And that I admire more than anything. And there's always a story. You are totally taken on a journey, but a journey that you want to be on and one that doesn't scare you or feel like I can't relate to it. It's very aspirational, inspirational, and realistic at the same time. I mean, Ralph's clothes are impeccably made.